What's going on guys, it's Emerson Aguilar and I got here with me Naya. It's Come Up Vibe and we got here Gage Wilson. And so today we're going to talk about uh, what he does and stuff and um, let's get started. So what's your first question? Uh, I guess what uh, got you interested into this career? In real estate? Yeah. Uh, I've, I don't know, I was kind of interested in the investing side of it before, but I just kind of got the opportunity through a marketing agency when I was uh, like 18 or 19. I went and presented my ideas to the real estate company to help them market. Um, and they were impressed with my presentation and they offered me a job as an agent. So I took the opportunity and that's what kind of got me into it. But now I love it, so I'm yeah. happy with it. How old did you say you were? Sorry. When so you got I'm 21 years? right now, uh, but when I started the marketing agency, I was 18. 18. Dang. So were you still in high school or? Uh, no, it was my. It was after? Second semester, no, I guess that would make me 19 then. Uh, second semester of freshman year of college. Okay. Yeah. One of the questions I have always had, because I thought always real estate is always like a cool thing. Yeah. It's just like I've always wanted to, but it seems really hard like nowadays or just in general. So, how does for someone watching, how does someone like um, get into it? Like, uh, like being an agent, an investor, uh, any, uh, any of them? All of them. Okay, so if you wanted to be an agent, uh, you just have to take a 48 hour course um, at an, uh, you, it can either be online or in person and mm -hmm. then you have to pass your salesperson class and then you have to get a broker to hold your license so like Reese Nichols Keller Williams um, Berkshire Hathaway somebody has to hold your license uh, investing um, once you can get the capital I guess you can just start investing uh, you get a mentor and kind of learn the ways of it but oh. yeah mentor is probably the biggest thing about yeah. it for someone watching this, like that doesn't know exactly what an agent does, what could you describe it a little bit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So how I describe it is I help people buy and sell homes. Um, mm -hmm. So if you were to, if you uh, guys were interested in looking at houses, I would show you houses, um, send you listings on the internet, uh, basically anything, write contracts for you, write your offers. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's just a lot less hassle through the uh, home buying process or selling process as well. So that's typically the day-to-day -day stuff, showing houses and going to listing appointments. Mm. So can uh, someone get their uh, real estate or agent license through like online? Because I've seen ads and stuff like that. that you yeah, do. I think you can. I, I did mine through a career education. Uh, so I actually went to the place in Kansas City to actually go to the class because uh, I thought it would benefit me better than doing it online. Uh, and it definitely did. Cause, uh, I passed it the first time and I think I've, I've heard from a lot of people that uh, did the online version and they had to eventually go to in-person because they were right. able to pass the class afterwards or the test afterwards mm -hmm. so yeah what's the hardest part of uh, being an agent or the hardest part yeah uh, probably networking I mean I just like we were just talking about yeah. your network is your net worth um, and that's probably the hardest part for me is networking but I'm a introvert kind of person so just breaking out the show uh, is the hardest part probably yeah, you're, uh, what's it called, like how I was saying earlier, you're like one of the main reasons why we started this podcast, because when, okay, so let me explain, let's check it back how we met him, uh, we were actually trying to, because this, okay, so Too Light, since I was little, I don't know why, what it is about it, I've always, like, thought it was like, cool, because I, I would always, you know, walk around the city and stuff, take photos, and then I would always see the infinity pool and stuff or whatever, and then I'm like, dang, that place looks so cool, and then I'm like, uh, then I was like, dang, I want to. I just want to see what it looks like inside. And then I, I told, I told Naya, I'm like, what if we sneak in? <laughs> what if we sneak in? Pretend, 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 pretend. It was. Pretend, it was. Pretend, it was. Pretend, it was. pretend we're just, you know, just walking in. We're gonna take some photos. We just want to look at the place and take some photos in like the city. Yeah. That's all we wanted to do. And then we got into the lobby, but then she's like, the the lady was like, no, nah, I'm sorry. And then they asked us for a name. That was the first thing they yeah, asked yeah. me. Will you come and visit? Well, yeah. And I think I gave her a you fake gave her, name. Yeah, he gave her a fake name. <laughs> I gave her a fake name, uh, but it didn't work. And then I guess we were walking out, and then you guys were there, and then uh, yeah. you guys you guys actually asked us to, like... Did you guys see us inside, or did you yeah, guys see us outside? Yeah, we, we walked past you, and then we were, I think we were looking for somewhere to eat on, uh -huh. on our phones, and you guys came out, and we were like... Uh, we said something like, you guys trying to go take pictures up there? So, uh -huh. yeah. Dude, that was, that's crazy. That, <laughs> yeah, that meant so much to us because we just wanted to get up here and then you guys would want to go. That was like the it. most hyped day. We were we went home and we were talking about that. Yeah, we were, like, days, yeah, yeah. we were talking. And then you brought us up and then we took our photos and then you, you said something about... Uh, Cause we asked advice for you or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and we were like, "What's something important?" And then you were talking to her about networking, 
Yeah. And then she told me, and I was like, dang, people say that all the time, but since, you know, you live here, and it's like, you know, uh, I don't you have here, knowledge. But yeah. You don't live here? No, this isn't my apartment building. This is Keaton's. Oh, or, yeah. I just visit him all the time. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, he lives here. But still, you do real estate. You told us about how you do real estate. Yeah. And then that stuck to me, and I'm like, okay, we should, like, that's important. A lot of people say that all the time, so we should, like, try it. Since I know people, she knows people, and then we do, like, photography, and, like, we're, like, into a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, we just started this podcast, so... That's where it went. Yeah. And we're here now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah talking about real estate. So, um, well, how many, like, how often do you sell homes or do you? Uh, uh, I mean, probably at least one every two weeks, probably. Uh, wow. Getting it at least under contract. Uh-huh. Um, uh, recently, uh, these past three months, I haven't really been focusing too much on uh, helping people buy and sell houses. Gotcha. Uh, so, I bought my first house. Me and two other guys, we partnered in on a on a flip house. So we uh, we bought it, and then for we bought it, we closed March twenty sixth, and we're working from up to probably a week and a half ago. Uh, we just listed it for sale. So that was consuming most of my time for from mm. March uh, because we did a lot of the work ourselves, and it just took up full days and uh, stuff like that. But we just got it on the market. Monday, last Monday, and mm-hmm. just got it under contract this sun, this Saturday. Damn. So sold the first flip. So uh, what is, is cool. sorry, uh, what does your schedule look like when you're busy like that? Or? Uh, well, when I was doing that, I would wake up probably around eight, meet some contractors at the house, mm-hmm. um, get them going on what they needed to do. Then I'd go show some houses, come back, check on the contractors, um, and yeah, I mean, hit a workout at the end of the day and just yeah. do what I needed to do. What uh, time did you end up leaving? Leaving the house, like, like, yeah, like, um, it just depends. Some days it's four o'clock, sometimes it's eight o'clock. Uh, it just kind of depends on the night. But yeah, it is a pretty flexible schedule. Uh, people say you get to create your own schedule as a real real estate agent, but you mm-hmm. really don't. The clients create your schedule for yeah. you, <laughs> yeah. uh, so they keep you busy. But yeah, that's good. Did you uh, go to college or like? Uh, yeah. So first year I went to Ottawa University. Uh-huh which is in Kansas to play soccer, uh, wasn't my thing. So I started that, that marketing agency. Uh-huh. And then I, after that, I went to MCC, Metropolitan Community College, and finished out my two-year degree. Gotcha. And I just stopped there. Gotcha. What other stuff are you into? Like, any, like, uh, investing in crypto or, like, uh, no, other, I, I, other than real Yeah, I haven't got into crypto, really, or in stocks or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It's, it's hard for me to understand those kind of things. Uh, yeah. But... Yeah, it's definitely not a bad thing to get into if you understand it. Yeah. What are the pros and cons about real estate agents? Um, like, what's the pros and cons of using an agent? Yeah, or becoming one, I should Becoming one? Yeah. I think it's just pros, uh, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it is super time-consuming. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not something that you're just going to be able to get your license, sit your phone down, and then just get calls from people wanting business. So you got to go out in there and get it. I used to knock, I will still do a little bit, knock doors, try to get uh, some clients, uh, phone calls, mail outs, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, pros and cons though? Yeah. Uh, pros. Um, meet a lot of people. Um, that's a hard question, honestly. Pros and cons. I would say meeting a lot of people, doing something that I love doing. Going into a lot of cool houses occasionally. Mm-hmm. Um, cons can be very time consuming. Clients can be a little bit demanding sometimes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say that'd be it, honestly. That'd be it. Yeah. Do you get a specific percent uh, from, uh, is it the same percent every time you guys buy a house or something? Yeah, so, well, no, it's not the same. Uh, it's whatever you and the seller or you and the buyer agree to uh, for a commission. Gotcha. But yeah. Is there like a percentage that could be the lowest or just there's no percentage? No, uh, there, there's no percentage, but it can be whatever you and oh, okay. that person agreed to. Gotcha. But. What are some uh, people that, for the people watching who want to become a real estate agent, what are some like uh, websites or like people on YouTube? Because do you know Ryan? He does real estate. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah. Well, I don't know him. Or not know him, but do you watch him? <laughs> yeah. Because he does real estate. Yeah. I thought he was cool because he does like the New York apartments yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I always thought that was interesting and stuff, but do you know have any other people that people should watch or like 
learn uh, from? Not really, man. Online uh, stuff. I, I do watch Ryan Sarian quite a bit, no. Um, but no, honestly, I don't really have too many people that I follow. Uh, that no, I don't. I just really learn from people in my office. Honestly, mm. um, I've had a mentor for ever since I started being an agent. So yeah. that's where I've learned everything. Uh, she's been great. She she did investments herself, so it was perfect for me. I wanted to do investments. Yeah. Uh, so learning from her was uh, has been great, and she's been awesome. But that's what I my biz- biggest suggestion is find a mentor. Uh, How'd you find uh, yours? Or yeah. was is that hard to find a mentor? Or? Uh, honestly, no. I mean, in, if you a, a younger person going up to an older person that's uh, been successful in their field, uh, most likely would love to help a younger person out and figure help them figure out what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, no, I wouldn't say it's super difficult. The way I found mine was uh, when I did my marketing presentation for Reese Nichols. Um, before I got my license and everything, I started doing marketing for an agent in that office. Um, and then once I got my license, she was like, you should just join me. I was like, sweet, let's do it. Wow. So that's, that's what we did. Uh, and it's been, it's been great. She's been a lot of help. What motivates you overall to like, I don't know how to answer that, uh, say that question, I guess. Um, what motivated you, like, was it just because you liked it, or was there something bigger that motivated you? Was it, like, family that did, like, has been in, in investments in real estate, or? No, uh, none of my family's really been in the real estate realm at all. So you're um, the first one? Yeah, I think so, to my knowledge. Yeah. Um, but what motivates me? Just, or it just motivates you to go to work. Or, yeah, I just want to make a better life for me and my family and friends, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to see the world, so whatever, whatever I can do to travel and uh, enjoy life as much as possible is what I'm going to do. Wait, how old are you? 21. 21. Dang. Yeah. You're young. Yeah. How old are you? 20. 20? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dang, I thought you, yeah, because you seem wise. Yeah, you, were, <laughs> you were like, I don't know. You don't look old, but you seem wise, so I thought you were like a little bit older. I had a lot of experience. Yeah, that's good. Everybody's got to get wiser and wiser. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Do you read a lot of books? Or I listen to a, a lot of audiobooks. Audiobooks? Uh, yeah, it's hard for me to concentrate on books quite a bit. Uh, so audiobooks when I'm driving and uh, just laying in bed uh, is uh, how I listen to, how I read books, I guess. Is there like specific, do you like read a lot of uh, investing and real estate stuff or just? Uh, any... Just kind of self-growth books, honestly. Okay. Like, um, Let's think Atomic Habits is a really good one. Mm. Um, uh, I can't think of another have you ever, oh, Purple Cow is a really good marketing purple. book. What, what was the question? Have you, you ever read The Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Dad? I haven't, but yeah, I mean, uh, oh. everybody calls me out on not reading that one yet, so I probably should get to that one. I want to read it too. <laughs> I haven't read it, but yeah. yeah. It's a pretty popular book. You got any other questions? Um. What do you like? Because I know you said you don't watch a lot of YouTube videos or whatever people on there, but you feel like from what you've seen so far from Ryan, you think it's good like knowledge for you for people. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, uh, does he do like a he does like a course too, doesn't he? he I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, most of them do. Everyone yeah, on most YouTube. Of them do. Uh, but yeah, he seems like a really knowledgeable guy. Uh, so he, and he seems like. Uh, he has fun in what he does too, which mm-hmm. is the most important part. So you know he enjoys what he's doing, uh, and he's probably just trying to help everybody else grow as well. So yeah, I would definitely mm-hmm. suggest watching it if you could. Gotcha. So what's uh, back again with the question? What's like the okay? So let's say someone wants to start real estate tomorrow. What's what's the first step that they, they need to do? Um, either the first step would be go and start your courses, or go out and. Uh, interview for a broker to see if they would hire you after you pass your test. Mm-hmm. Um, those would be the. Do you know around how much money that would cost to like get started? I uh, believe the course is average. The amount. class is either two hundred and fifty dollars mm-hmm. uh, or three hundred and fifty. One of those, um, and your license. To get it in the MLS, I believe is six hundred and ninety-five dollars. Um, so, a thousand-ish dollars maybe mm-hmm. uh, to just to get started. Um, but I think those are the only fees required to really get going, uh, oh. unless a broker, a specific broker you go to, has other fees involved. Oh. Uh, but my
content. So once you do that, uh, and then you're done with your courses, what's like the next step? Uh, so once you finish the course, you can take a test. Um, and once you pass that test, you are able to apply for a license. So you fill, that, fill out an application and then send it to the state. Um, and the state reviews everything, and then they'll send your license. They won't send your license back until you are um, under a broker. Uh, so brokers can only hold license. Me as a salesperson, I can't hold the license. So. It has to be held through the broker or mm -hmm. they won't send it back. And if you don't get under a broker within six months, you'll have to restart the classes and licensing program. Oh, I did not know that. Yep, so it like expires. Mm -hmm. yep. Is there any tests that you have to take after that? Like like that you take now that you have to take like uh, here and well, there? Well, you have to take CE, uh, which is continued education, just to keep good knowledge on the subject of real estate, uh, which is... You have to have 12 credits each, every two years, I believe. Uh, so nothing crazy, uh, but yeah, you just gotta keep educating yourself, I guess. Yeah. You pay for that as well? Uh, sometimes, sometimes it's free, just depending on which course it is, but. Um, yeah. Do you see yourself expanding within any other thing? Industries or yeah. anything? Uh, no, I think I found my industry, honestly. That's good. Real estate, for That's sure. Good. I think it's crazy because a lot of people talk about that nowadays. Mm -hmm. Cause this, I feel like a lot of people see it as a career that's easy to obtain, but I don't think they realize, like you said, there's a lot of work that you have to put in, yep. and then connections. So. Yeah, no, they're def. Uh, I mean, the number of agents that are in the market is quite a bit. I mean, the average agent does one to two deals a year, uh, and that's the average, just mm -hmm. because um, some people have full time jobs and they get their agent, they get their license just to. Do it like for family when they buy or sell houses so they're not like marketing their self or doing it as a business so there's yeah. a lot of people that just get it to have it if mm -hmm. somebody wants them to help buy or sell a house gotcha um, so that's why the average is so low of making one or two sales but there's yeah i mean the, the market is very flooded with a lot of agents uh, it's really popular right now i guess yeah so what do you think makes a like comparing two agents what do you think makes an, a good agent or builds uh has like i guess characteristics that mm -hmm. builds the agent yeah. Uh, attention to detail. Uh, you're filling out legal documents for customers, so uh, you want to make sure that you do that correctly. Um, attention to detail. Uh, good communication skills so you can relate to your client uh, what's what the contract means and what all the circumstances of the deal that you're putting together are. Um, yeah, I think that would be the... Uh, and time management for sure, too. Time management? Yeah. Do you ever procrastinate? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Uh, but eventually you just get to a point where you got to get it done yeah. <laughs> so you just do it but uh, what are yeah. your goals from like from now like let's say five years from now five year goal um You're trying to be like kansas city's top real estate agent uh yeah i don't know man um yeah i don't know goals is hard for me to uh, come up with i don't really think about goals too much honestly uh i just kind of do what i do but I don't think in five years I'll be a real estate agent. I think I'll be a full-time investor, um, doing flips, rentals, property management, things like that. I think gotcha. in five years that's where I'll be. Gotcha. So what's the difference between that and a real So what are the three things that you told me at the beginning? So there's a real estate, there's a... Yep. So investor, uh, so buying houses, uh, putting work into it, rehabbing it, and then selling it again for a higher profit. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, and then rentals, so you buy a house and then you lease it to somebody uh, that wants to live there. Mm -hmm. uh, so you pay the house off and then uh, you make money each month, yeah. passive income. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and then property management, so that would be like this apartment building has a property manager uh, that um, collects rent, does, um, if there's a leaky faucet or something, they get somebody in there to fix it. Mm -hmm. uh, so they maintain the properties for other people. Gotcha. Uh, so the landlord or the owner pays the property management company to manage the property while there's tenants, uh, or even if when there's not tenants in there, to f fill the fill the vacancies. Mm -hmm. um, uh, pretty much anything you could imagine. It's a pretty uh, demanding job, also. Gotcha. Out of all of those that you've just mentioned, what do you think? Which one do you think is the most uh, like the hardest one to do? In Probably life? property management, honestly. Right. Yeah, it's. From what I've heard, at least um, from people that in my office that own rental properties, is uh, tenants can always be a hassle. Uh, so 
you just got to do it, do it right, though. Uh, manage the tenants to where they're happy, you're happy, and then you won't have any problems. But um, that's not always the case either. So, yeah, I would say property management would be the most stressful out of all of those. And then you said that in five years you see yourself doing investment? Invest, well, yeah, I did my first investment in March, but I think full-time I'll be having rental properties and flipping houses consistently, so. Gotcha. What's hard about being in, in doing the investment? What's hard about it? Yeah. Um, everything. I mean, <laughs> just time management, I guess. Uh, getting the organization of every little step, uh, what, what has to take place from getting flooring in to drywall to light fixtures, making mm -hmm. everything, making sure everything's perfect in the house so you can go ahead and sell it when it's done. I, I was interested in that one, so. That yeah, I'll, I'll, when we're done, I'll show you guys pictures of uh, right. my flip. And All right. If you want to show the people, we can show them. So, uh, did you, did you, uh, pay people to redesign it or did you do it? Uh, no, so we most, we did everything design. Uh, the only three jobs that we hired out was drywall. Um, we got a, a new AC and furnace in the house and gutters. And then we did everything else. So how do you guys pay for all that? Like, is it something that you guys, like money you guys borrow or? No, we, we paid cash for everything okay. through this house. Yeah, but we split it between three people, so we kind of, for our first one, we wanted to minimize risk as much as possible, mm -hmm. um, and that was the way to do it, so we did it, but that's smart. And then between you guys, you guys decide your percentage each, or? Yeah, we just did one-third everybody, uh, okay. and yeah, equal work, equal money, so. That's good. So, yeah. yeah, partnership worked out pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people say don't go in business with your friends. Uh, and these two guys were my friends, and they went pretty well. So yeah, that's good. You yeah. just got to choose the right people. Yeah. What are um, other things that you see yourself doing in the future? Traveling. Travel. Uh, Where do you want to travel to? Yeah, I was about to say that. This weekend, uh, if it doesn't, so it's on the forecast that it's going to rain there this weekend. So we might delay the trip. But me and uh, Keaton mm -hmm. uh, are going to Grand Tetons in Wyoming for a backpacking uh, camping trip wow. so we're gonna drive there uh -huh. it's like a 15 and a half hour drive from here um, park the car in the parking lot and just start hiking and camp wherever we need to uh, on the mountains and stuff so it'll be pretty sweet that sounds fun what other places like out of the country would you like to travel out of the country I'd love to go to the Maldives uh, mm -hmm. it looks like a beautiful place um, Europe there's a lot of places there just the historic part of it like Paris and all that stuff I don't know, man. There's a lot of places I'd like to see. <laughs> Iceland looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I've never even been out of the country, so. You know what I think is crazy? How Iceland is the one that's green, right? Green, yeah. yeah. Green <laughs> is the one that's icy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's goofy. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, but. That's how the how long have you been living here? Were you raised here, or are you from? Uh, I'm from St. Joseph, mm -hmm. so 45 minutes north of here. Okay. So oh, so you just visit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how do you know uh, what's his name? King. King. He's from St. Joe as well. Oh, okay. We grew up together. Yeah. Oh, that's that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. So you well, drive? You wait. You live here? Like not here, here, but like in Kansas City, or you drive over here to? Visit? Yeah, I drive here yeah. from St. Joe. Oh, okay. Uh, Forty-five minutes away. Yeah, I thought you lived here with you guys were roommates. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. No. Dang. You see your soul moving in here at some point, or in here? Yeah. I don't know about in here. I'd love to. Yeah. <laughs> That's the goal someday. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to own a house, but yeah. Yeah. No, oh, obviously. Yeah. Do you see yourself like uh, buying houses in other states, countries, or anything like that? Uh, so my man, everybody says I'm crazy for this, uh, uh -huh. but I'd love to have a home base uh, somewhere. I haven't decided where it would be, like a good house somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, and then just have apartments in different cities, uh, like Denver, uh, L.A., mm -hmm. Kansas City, New York, stuff like that. Florida. Um, that, that's my main goal, is just have apartments in different places where I can visit to and have an actual place instead of going to like a hotel or something. Yeah, that's fine. But, yeah, and then for that, you need the managing, like you need to pay the man managing people, right? Uh, well, not if I'm just, it would just be like renting an apartment here. Uh -huh. uh, you just have the spot. It would be vacant for a little while until you go see, go there, but uh, yeah. What? Or did I not understand your question? What makes you choose a hotels? I don't want to stay in a hotel. That's why I get the apartments. Oh, I meant yeah. apartments. I meant apartments, <laughs> yeah, my bad. Yeah, just so for maintenance reasons, you don't have to take care of it at all. Um, if something goes wrong, they have apartment maintenance crews to come in and fix it if you're mm -hmm. not there. Uh, so, 
that would be the main reason for it. That's good. Well, uh, so you said you played soccer. Did you? Not, you said you weren't into that that much. You just. Uh, no, I love soccer. Uh, I still do. I watch mm-hmm. a lot of soccer still. Um, but at that point where I was, I just decided uh, I had to move on and go to something else. Uh, so. What position did you play? I was center mid. Center mid. Yeah. I play. I used to yeah, play center mid. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the best position. You always have the ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you play for like any? Any teams over there? Or were you live in San Joseph? Uh, no, it's a, we played for teams in Canada. Well, my high school team, uh, but I played for Casey Blaze. Uh, Casey Blaze, yeah. I was yeah. in high school for the club. Uh, but, yeah, that was who I played for in high school, except for my high school team. Yeah. Any other sports besides that? Or? I played basketball in high school. Mm, yeah, those, those two are the only ones I did in high school. Gotcha. What uh, other activities do you do when you want to just relax? Or are you always books? working? <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, no, nah, I listen to audiobooks, listen to music, uh, anything. I like riding my penny board, uh, camping, hiking, whatever, mm-hmm. snowboarding, uh, wakeboarding, love. Gotcha. <laughs> Extreme sports kind of guy now, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to try snowboarding. Yeah, it's pretty fun. But, uh, are you good at it? No. Not super good. I went for the first time mm-hmm. uh, last Christmas to Utah. Uh, it was it was a great great experience. Uh, my uncle he was like, "Man, you you haven't done snowboarding before. You're gonna get up on the mountain. You're gonna be pissed at yourself because you grabbed the snowboard and you're just gonna keep falling, keep falling. And you're gonna get worn out and ask to leave." I was like, "Man, no." He was like, "You better grab the skis." And I grabbed the snowboard. Uh, fell down a few times, but once I got the hang of it, uh, it was a lot better than skiing. A lot of fun too. Is the balancing kind of like skateboarding? In a yeah, way? yeah. It's same thing. Same thing. Same gotcha. thing. Uh, instead of like turning your hips or something, you just heel toes to turn. Okay, like okay. you're going on a skateboard. Yeah. I want to try uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to try it. <laughs> if you try turning with your hips, you're gonna fall. <laughs> so it's gotta be heel toe. Yeah. Yeah. It's gotta be heel toe. What time is it? What time? What time do you have to leave? We don't wait. How, how much? Thirty. Oh, okay, we got like ten minutes. Um, what else? Do, uh, what other? What advice do you have for uh, people? Because our most of our audience are like in kind of like our age, but mm-hmm. are in high school, kind of just graduated. Yep. They're trying to figure out what they're trying to do. Or and any a lot, struggles. A lot too, of people, yeah, because a lot, my bad. A lot of people are in. Um, they ask for real estate uh, people. That's why uh, we were looking for a real estate person. And I'm like, hey, I know someone. Yep. Uh, so that's why we're asking. Like, uh, what advice would you say to someone watching who wants to get into like real estate? That wants to get into real estate. Yeah. I just say go for it. Mm-hmm. Um, nothing, no reason not to. Uh, if you if you end up liking it, great. If you don't, then you'll find something else. Uh, that's I kind of jumped into it, just not ex- just taking an opportunity, mm-hmm. uh, and then I found what I love doing. So yeah, you just gotta take a risk, take a jump, take a risk. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna yeah, you're not gonna find what you love to do without taking a risk. Honestly. Exactly. Uh, so you, I don't know how long you've been doing photography or videography, but uh-huh. there's probably a point when you're like, man. I'm just gonna jump into it. Screw it. Yeah, and yeah. for you're right about like the mentor. I found a mentor. Like you, whatever you love, like you'll find a mentor somehow. Yeah. It's just. Cool. Yeah, just getting out there talking to people that are in the exactly. field. Exactly. Um, there's you're gonna find somebody that's willing to take the time and uh, teach you and get you moving forward to where you exactly. understand the process and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So. And also about the risk taking, like yeah, you gotta make, you gotta take risks. Like we did, we were trying, to, we snuck, we were trying sneaking in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got, we got, we, yeah, we got in. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got in. Yeah, you got in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Any bumps on the road though that you that you went through, struggled since you got in the? Yeah, for sure. Uh, do you want the specific bumps? Yeah. Sure. Is that what you're asking yeah. for? Okay. Um, I mean, just pressure of being exhausted, like feeling like man, I'm too busy right now, I can't handle anymore. Uh, and then you just gotta calm down and get to it again. But biggest bump in the road, let's think. I try not to focus on them too much, but um, I don't know. I can't really think of any right now, honestly. Um, there's definitely been some, uh, I apologize. No, you're not. <laughs> Yeah, I can't think of one. Uh, you're good, yeah. What, um... So you here see. you go, here we go. Uh, just being the young guy. I mean, I get told... 
people walk in and I, my mentor uh, is an uh, experienced lady and every time I walked into an open house with her they'd, they'd say uh, is, she your grand, or is he your grandson uh -huh. I'm like no man I'm an agent I'm gay <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean yeah I would say that was the little bump in the road that I had to get past and show my professionalism before mm -hmm. uh, they opened their mouth to say something uh, gotcha. so it's, yeah, just making that quick first impression is what fixed that gotcha. how do you make a good first impression firm handshake talking passionately about something mm -hmm. um, and knowing what you're talking about being confident gotcha. um, what I was going to say so you said something about uh, you, you don't have a specific or you don't do you have a specific or you said you don't have like a, you don't know how to come up with them on the spot what's up when I ask you for your goals and stuff like goals. five years from now yeah Do you, so you don't have anything I mean yeah I have financial goals uh, but I just prefer not to talk about those gotcha. um, yeah. you're good but yeah I think I mean, my, uh, as like, so when I say I found what I love doing, uh, mm -hmm. that's just kind of around the circle of real estate. Uh, yeah. I know I fell in love with how to, like, the real estate process, um, but I'm not in love with being an agent. Gotcha. Um, I want to work for myself, and uh, working for clients just isn't the same thing. Uh, so working for myself means having these investment properties where I don't have to. Uh, go show somebody a house or things like that. Gotcha. Uh, so that's my main goal is to work for myself. So being an investor, buying houses, selling houses. Yeah. Um, I would keep my real estate license because it's a benefit to those things. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, that'd be my main goal is to in five years not be the agent anymore. I'd mm -hmm. still have my license, but um, be managing properties, having my own properties, making some passive income. Gotcha. Um, things like that. Do um do real estate uh, agents get paid? So you know how like when someone wants to go see a house, mm -hmm. do they and it's I mean they don't charge. Do, do you guys get paid for that? Uh, it just kind of depends you on as as an agent. Typically, agents don't don't charge people to go show yeah. them houses. Mm -hmm. um, the commission is where we get paid. So um, if I were to go show you a house on one two three Main Street and you liked it, um, we put in an offer to that house and then. It gets accepted uh, 30 days down the road. We go to the closing table, you close, then I get paid from the seller. Mm -hmm. okay. um, as from whatever the seller and the listing agent agree to for commission splits. Yeah. Um, so it must look, it must look when, when like someone wants to just see a house and then mm -hmm. they don't buy it because you're yep. kind of just kind of wasting time. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't get paid at all. Oh, okay. That. Okay. Unless agreed up, agreed upon a Mm -hmm. I mean, you can charge people flat yeah. fees for showing them houses, mm -hmm. uh, but typically you don't. Gotcha. Does that ha happen often with you? Like, where you're, you're just showing them the house, and then a lot of the times they're just viewing it, and then you just. Yeah. Happens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what that's one of the parts that sucks for real yeah. estate agents? Yeah, it does for gotcha. sure. Gotcha. I mean, I've showed a couple uh, houses for a year and a half now, and they still have found one that they've liked. Uh, so it takes time, though. Yeah. Must be hard. <laughs> back, yeah. back, back to the invest uh, investment though. So do you actually you need a to get you need a license for that or no? No, yeah. no you could go out and buy a house right now and then put some rehab into it and sell it. So for people that don't, because uh, you said you don't need to go to school for the earning license for that. So is it better to partner with someone to help build the money up technically in a way to afford uh, to? rebuild the house and all of that or what do you mean partner partner with somebody like, in what circumstance uh you know how you said that it's you and two other people who work together technically gotcha. to, yeah like that part okay um or yeah, I, guess, I guess so i mean it minimizes your risk uh, quite a bit uh, because you're split between three people so mm -hmm. you're not putting as much money as in as you have to uh, mm -hmm. to risk it um but no you don't have to um, it did minimize our profits. I mean, we did a really good job on the house, like killed it for our first time. Mm -hmm. um, and so if I can't say that I would have done the same if I was went into it by myself, but I would have made a lot more money if I did go into it yeah. by myself yeah. and split yeah. it three ways. Um, so yeah, you just got to kind of weigh out the pros and cons. We all thought it would be more beneficial for us to all three going in it at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what we did. Uh, but yeah, just personal preference of what you want to do. Uh, if you don't have the funds to buy a whole house by yourself, then yeah, partner up with somebody that is interested and wants to do it. Gotcha. But make sure they're in for it. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a hard process, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. Gotcha.
Dang. So we got to do that next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but wait, so you don't need a license to, like, let's say, flip a house. You just buy it, you buy it, and then you, let's say, what about if you're trying to, like, uh, do rent it? You don't no, need, you don't need a license. You don't need a license. No. Gotcha. The only reason you need to buy a lot or to get a license is because uh, if I'm helping somebody buy or sell a house, I'm mm -hmm. assisting you in the process. Oh, okay. um, or if you're marketing in, in a real estate uh, for a real estate agent or a broker, you need it. Um, yeah, I think those are the only I think it's crazy because, uh, sorry, uh, not that long ago, um, some one of my friends got a, um, invited for Primarica or something like that. It's a company, but I guess it helps you become a broker and you take classes through it. Have you ever heard about that? That Say again. Primarica. Primarica. Yeah. For Primarica. No. Primarica. Yeah, I thought I just brought it up because I maybe you knew something about it or not. But. Yeah, I, I haven't heard of it. Uh, but you do to get a broker's license, you have to be an agent. For at least two years in Missouri before you can apply to get your brokers. Okay. Which, which I'm actually in the process right now of getting my broker's license. Okay. Um, going through the class of it, tomorrow's my last day of going to class and then I gotta take the test after that. Cool. What kind of things are you learning in those classes? Or? Uh, real, Missouri Real Estate Law, um, eight, so the subjects are financing, so we're learning about the mortgage loans that people, mm -hmm. the options people have to buy houses. Just the market, the real estate market in general, uh, Missouri state law about real estate, um, how to calculate certain mortgage payments and things like that. Um, mm. Situational stuff of like, if a client was to do this, what would you do? Or if you were to do this, how would you handle it? Uh, mm -hmm. Things like that, just learning how to handle yourself in a legal way in the real estate market. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you do recommend uh, becoming an agent first before doing You have to. You, you have to. to to do what? what to just stuff uh, flip houses. Oh, no, no, you don't have to do that at all. Yeah. Um, it helped me, I think, 100% yeah. uh, to learn how it worked yeah. from just talking to people in my office mm -hmm. of, that do flip houses or own rentals. Um, it definitely helped me, or even understanding what a real estate contract uh, mm -hmm. talks about in there to yeah. go into this. But no, you definitely don't have to. Uh, gotcha. You can get a mentor without being an agent, uh, somebody that just flips houses. Uh, yeah, no, so let's say, let's say I buy a house for like a hundred and eighty dollars, right? And I want to rent it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I pay full, full cash for it, and then let's say I want to rent it for some or yeah. somebody monthly. So how, how do I figure out how much I'm going to profit from it, and then how much I'm going to charge it monthly? Like, uh, so how does that? Yeah, typically, uh, you'd ha I tend to follow the one percent rule. Mm -hmm. Oh well. I'm going to follow the 1% rule. So if you buy a house for $100,000, yeah. uh, so when you're looking at a property um, and it's for sale for $100,000, and if you wanna use it as a rental property, mm -hmm. you wanna make sure that for it to pay off from what your mortgage payment's gonna be. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you bought a, if you did a normal conventional loan for $100,000, your mortgage payment would be somewhere around $400 to $600 a month probably. So mm -hmm. the 1% rule says, uh, you should be able to charge 1%. Uh, or if you can't charge 1%, then you don't want to buy this house as a rental property. Oh, okay. So from market uh, averages of what the area charges um, for rent in that area or anything like that, if it's nowhere near $1,000, then you don't want to buy that house. It's not going to benefit you enough to make profit each mm -hmm. month, uh, pay off for maintenance stuff and when an air conditioner goes bad or just paying off the house in general. Gotcha. So, yeah, the 1% rules is what I'm going to follow when I okay, okay. get into it when I start buying rentals. Makes sense. Makes sense. Did that answer your question? Yeah, a little bit. I was just wondering, like, because let's say how I would see it, or could, this is just like a yeah. non like real estate person speaking, how I'd see it, let's say there's a $100,000, and, mm -hmm. and then you say it'd be like around 400 to $6 a month that I'm yeah. paying, right? So, would you add on like another 100 so make it like 700 so then you get like a hundred like or how uh, around yeah. there or like, I mean you want to be getting one percent uh -huh. of your purchase price for rent oh, okay you're gonna profit or like all on together so if you buy a house for a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars you're gonna want to get a thousand dollars for rent each month mm -hmm. to cover 
you're gonna be oh, okay, each okay, month you're gonna be sense. paying off your uh-huh. mortgage, which is four hundred to six hundred dollars. So now you have four hundred dollars left of profit, kind of. Mm-hmm. Uh, but from that profit, there's gonna be things like the air conditioner goes bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, you need a you have a leaky toilet. You gotta buy a new toilet. Yeah. Um, leaky sink. Mm-hmm. Anything. Uh, so that stuff's gonna dwindle away. But you, you're gonna each month when there's a good month and nothing goes wrong, you're gonna put a certain amount in a little bank account that uh-huh. is savings for that house okay. to take care of everything. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you wanna get at least one percent out of rent mm-hmm. to be able to pay From for what the house mortgage, costs, right? Your maintenance, um, your employees, if they're a maintenance guy has to go in and fix the toilet or something. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. This is probably a dumb question, but does that play a role with uh, like interest rate too? Uh, or no, it just depends for interest rate. Uh, yeah, I mean interest rates are really low right now. Uh, you're almost getting a house for free. Uh, I mean three percent interest rates. I'm in my broker's class. I'm learning about people buying houses for eighteen percent interest rates. Which if you buy a four hundred thousand dollar house and you have an eighteen percent interest rate, you end up paying like twenty thousand dollars. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you end up paying like double or a half extra on what you bought the house for. So you'd end up paying like four hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the house mm-hmm. instead of four hundred. Uh, okay. So now we're at like a three point two interest rate, which is phenomenal. Um, but no, I don't think that plays a huge role. you I mean, if your interest rate goes up, you're gonna have to charge more for rent. Uh, <coughs> so it probably would play a role in the one percent. But where we're at now, uh, it fits pretty well. Got any other questions? Because uh, you pretty much covered yeah, everything. Yeah, you did. Cause, uh, <laughs> the questions, because it was just cool. Well, at least the questions that were asked. Uh, yeah, because yeah. we had people asking us. Do you have any other questions? No. No? You good. Well, how are we on time? 42? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. All right, uh, do you have any, do you want to shout out, like, because I know you have Instagram. Do you do sales through there? Do you want to shout out any, uh, like, website or social media or email or if they want to contact and buy a house from you? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I think it's just Gage Wilson. Uh, you can just look me up. Let me see to make sure. Can you spell it out? To- yeah. Um, yeah, it's just Gage.Wilson, G-A-I-G-E-W-I-L-S-O-N. Yeah, and you can just reach out to me there if you want to look for a house or anything. Um, if you look me up online, my phone number and web- website's probably on there too with Reese Nichols. Um, but I'm out of St. Joseph, so if you're looking for homes in the area, happy to help you, for sure. Sounds good. All right. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting us come here and speak to you and giving us some wisdom on real estate and stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, wait, let me show you guys the view real quick. Alright, make sure you guys hit like and subscribe and peace out.